Hello everyone, this is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And today's title is Why Won't People Do Anything? <laughs> uh, you can go to roberthollis.com forward slash free and get a copy of my best-selling book, How Is That Working? Race to Freedom. Also available in Spanish and also on audio, audio on Audible. So, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Meta, please go out there and share with everyone that I'm doing this video and uh, we'll get started just in a moment. So, hey, Bill, how are you? I appreciate you. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Craig. Uh, let me see who else is on here. Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, John Tier. Melody, I love you. I love you. Uh, hey, Pat. I uh, really appreciate you jumping on here. Um, this today's going to be... Uh, a video that I think that everybody should watch because it's like it's I, I believe that it's probably the number one reason that people quit this business so uh, hi Verde um, hi my lovely wife Terry hi Jen hi author hi Deb and let's get started hello my name is Robert Hollis and I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day and why won't people do anything why why won't they do anything uh, First, they're human. They're just human, human, human. Now, before we move over, move on, I want to tell you a quick story because I just, I remember hearing this story and I believe, like I said, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, why people quit, why people stop. Why wouldn't everyone want, um, you know, more than one person responsible for their income. I don't know how small your group is, but we all start with zero. And you know, when you got two people that are also have a vision to supplement or double or replace their income, it's like, uh, why wouldn't someone want more freedom and stuff in your life? But this is why, why we get discouraged. We get discouraged because people will not do what they say they're going to do. And a lot of people won't do what they're supposed to do. Reason why. The story. <laughs> I'll never forget my mentor telling me this story. So I want you to imagine there's a guy that's driving and he's lost. He's driving on some gravel roads and he's, you know, driving around looking. And all of a sudden he decides he, he's lost, he's lost. Of course, this is before GPS, or maybe there's even a deal where the phone doesn't work, right? Uh, no, no signal. So what he does is he goes to this farmer's yard and he pulls in and he sees the farmer on the porch in a rocking chair. And as he's walking toward the porch, he can hear this dog, you know? And he's just howling like he's in pain, like he's hurting. And he's like, Ooh! and so the guy walks up and he's like, uh, wow, what's wrong with your dog? And he's like, he, he's okay. He's okay. Don't, don't worry about him. That's just what he does. And the guy's saying, well, I'm lost. I'm sorry to bother you. Is there any way I can get directions? And the farmer starts giving him directions back to the main roads and the dog starts howling again. You know, like a lot of people that whine, complain, blame, victim, you know, that kind of deal, right? And so he, he stops and he says, it's hard to hear your instructions. Are you sure there's not something wrong with your dog? And he said, no, I told you there's nothing wrong with the dog. So he continued to do, you know, get directions and then the dog started doing it again. And he said, farmer, listen, you know, sir, I, I just think you're wrong. There's something definitely wrong with your dog. Why is he howling like that? And the farmer says, well, he's laying on a nail. You know, you see some of the, you know, stuff on the patio and the deck here and, there, and there's a nail. And so he always lays there and the nail hurts him, but that's where the sun is. And he likes laying in the sun. And the guy's like, are you kidding me? Why won't he move? And the farmer said, because it doesn't hurt that bad. It hurts, but it doesn't hurt that bad. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand that people say, oh my God, I'd love a better lifestyle. I'd love to travel. I'd love to be out of debt. 
Wouldn't that be cool? I'd like to fire my boss. I'd like to retire my spouse. I'd like to do a lot of things. Oh, okay. Well, watch this short video. Not going to do it. Now, and now, ain't, 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 ain't happening. Well, you can, you can get into an a affiliate, a referral program for free and make money by simply, you know, sharing your affiliate link. Not going to do it. Ain't happening. Not going to do it. Okay, so then you got people that actually create a free account. Um, I, I, what should I do? I'm confused. I'm overwhelmed. I don't understand. This is all language. This is all language for I ain't going to do it. <laughs> you know, you guys here, I, I can't find it. I, 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 I don't have time. You know, it's like, you know, I see Aaron Parker on here. And it's like, you know, Aaron and I, and a lot of leaders are constantly, constantly creating videos that teach people step by step, word for word. I, 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 you know, I just don't have time. I'm not going to watch that video. And then people not only get in and watch the videos and they see how simple it is and then they don't do anything. So the title of this is why don't people do anything? It's because it doesn't hurt that bad. Jim Rowan, one of my favorite, favorite mentors of all, said, it's easy to do, it's easier not to do. And so when you find people like me or Aaron or Angel or any one of these people that are successful, we drew a line in the sand. We said, I'm not living like this anymore. I'm freaking done. I'm done. Me, I don't mind being bold. I even do it on stage when I speak. I got down on my knees and was begging for help. I don't want to live another day like this. I'm done. I'm done. And when you're done and you mean that, and then you see someone like me say, well, you know, step one, get this book and read it. Step two, do what it says. Step three, listen to the science of getting rich. Get the right philosophy and the right mindset. Now, create a free account. You already did. And now we got to go through the numbers. Now we got to go out there and find the people that drew this line. So a lot of you are going to get people that, I'll look at the video, I won't look at the video. They didn't draw the line. They haven't drawn the line. Because when you find somebody that draws the line, they don't need you anymore. They were praying for knowledge. They were praying for wisdom. They were praying for someone that is documented, that showed some other people how to do it. And they get in like I did, no questions asked, mirror and match. They just mirror and match. There's a scene that you guys see in Karate Kid. And yeah, that's autographed by Mr. Miyagi. And there becomes this point where he says, will you teach me? And he says, yeah, but we got to make a deal. What, 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 what's the deal? I will teach you, do what I tell you, no questions. We have deal? And he says, yeah. And he's putting on the head thing and he says, okay, first thing you got to do is you got to wash these cars. Well, I ain't. Scares him. Daniel Sud scares him. Are you following deal? Yeah, but I ain't. 
This business is so fun when you find people that drew the line. They say, tell me what to do. For me, it was edifying and giving praise and recognition to someone that's already done training, that's already helped people make a million a month. That's Joss Wegel. Now, I know there's a lot of trainers, a lot of people with books, a lot of stuff, but I was sharing this with a leader yesterday. And I said, I never got a script. Listen to this. I never got a script, ever. Robert, yeah. When you watch this video, were you interested? Yes. Did you get in? Yes. Did you buy product? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. He says, Robert, you get that video in front of interested people, their questions, their answers will be yes, yes, yes. Watch the video, I'll create a free account. Once I create a free account, then what do I do? You start sharing the video and you start sharing your affiliate link. That's what I do. Okay, I got it. The other people that have not drawn a line are, when is it? Do you have to do it like this? Well, I heard from this one, Joe Jim Bob, you know, based out of, you know, uh, Broken Branch, Arkansas. And he said, see, it's, it's not painful enough for them yet. It doesn't hurt enough yet. So they stay complacent. They stay complacent. They are quiet quitters. They are looking for shortcuts. And they keep going from shortcut to shortcut to shortcut to shortcut. And when the shortcuts don't work, then what they do <laughs> is they change companies and change coaches and change programs. I'm telling you, man, when, you're, when you've had enough, that's when you get in and do what you got to do. So I see Aaron Parker's on here, man. And when I met Aaron, him and Kathy, his daughters, enough, uh, uh, enough. And Aaron started putting me in front of people like crazy, man. And his whole life changed. So that is why people don't consistently learn. See, I love that phrase that I learned already this year. I always look for the next step that I'm going to get into. And it's impossible to teach somebody that knows everything. <laughs> because part of that line, part of that line is someone getting another line. So see, there was times in my life where I said I had enough that moved me to California. And then I got hurt on the job. That's when I got in this industry. Now I'm making a lot of money and then I'm not making a lot of money. So there was a point in time there, you know, in my 30s, my early 30s, that if you didn't think I knew everything, just ask me, I'd tell you. And it kept getting worse. And I went from company to company to company. I was an owner. I was a part owner. I was a master distributor, and it wasn't until I went, I'm done, I'm done. I'm gonna draw a line in the sand, and I'm gonna learn from someone that can take me to the next level. And as soon as I did that, that's when I read Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I realized that I needed to find a rich dad, that maybe my mentor learned from some people, and that's when I found Don Fela. Someone asked me just the other day, they said, Robert, when you seen Don Fela and went through all his videos and he radically changed the way you did this industry, is that where you got the flower shirts from? Yes! See, that's how much I will put away everything I know, humble myself, learn from a new mentor, a new sensei, and I don't question. I do not question. So then I started doing business learning that way, and I went, I don't wanna be the presenter, I don't wanna be the trainer, 
I don't want to be anything. I just want to go back to giving praise and recognition to someone that's currently making money and put everybody in front of them. And you want to talk about being humble? I became a affiliate for a company of two guys that I taught, Tony and Mike Koopas. So they started a company called ACN. I'm the one that taught them. I moved into their apartment, taught, taught them you know, everything. They went straight to the top. And when I left Equinox and they started their own company, I went, <laughs> I'm not gonna sign under my downline. Are you freaking kidding me? So I struggled for a number of years. Then I humbled myself, drew the line, humbled myself, learned how to do it again from the basics, not being the deal, then jumped into ACN and become the number one RVP in the world. That's this trophy. So it was number one in the world for a number of years. So uh, yeah. So I drew the line again about four or five months before NBC. Yeah, went out there, became a coach, trainer, author, uh, uh, doing seminars, life coach. I was a auto mechanic and now I'm a life mechanic, life mechanic. And so went into coaching, created courses, spoke on seminars, got to close out you know, Association of Network Marketing Professionals twice, uh, Eric Worre's conventions twice, uh, speaking all over the world, speaking for Ray Higdon, you know, doing doing all that because that, that, that was a new thing until I drew a line again. So sat down with my son, Matthew, and all of a sudden he says, Dad, I, you know, Every month, we, you know, we have good weeks, bad weeks. We have bad months, good months. And, you know, I, I don't want to do this anymore. Building and constantly advertising and trying, you know, trying to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. I said, then don't do it. And my son looked at me and said, Dad, I have to. I go, why do you have to? He goes, this is the way you and mom make money. I have to do this. And I said, no, you don't. No, you do not. That's when I drew the line. That's when I humbled myself. And that's when Terry and I found My Daily Choice. I jumped into My Daily Choice, drew a line, started giving praise and recognition to Josh and Jenna. Life changed instantaneously. So the last thing I'm going to say about this video is that the reason that we get upset at people for not doing anything is because it's a reflection of us. Why won't you do the things that are necessary? Why won't you listen? to meditation every day. Why won't you listen and do what you're supposed to do? Why aren't you connecting with strangers? See, I was told, get excited about the future, then find strangers, and with my excitement of enthusiasm, ask them to watch a video for me. Do me a huge favor, help me out. Who do you know that needs to make extra money? What is this? Why are you interested? Yeah, watch this video. And a lot of people reach out to me all the time and they say, which video, which video? If people draw the line, the next video is gonna be the video is gonna get them. You know why people have a different coach, a different book, a different uh, uh, training that altered and changed their lives is because they drew the line before that. So I drew the line so when my mentor told me to read this and get back to him, it could have been any book. I'm glad it's that book because I had a lot of stinking thinking, a lot of self-confidence issues, 
uh, a lot of victim, a lot of abandonment, a lot of uh, shame. So there's a lot of things that, that, you know, it's hard to love somebody and love people if you don't love yourself. And so this book taught me how to love myself, to look at myself as a unique, very unique creation that God and the universe created called a miracle. And when I knew I was a miracle and I was introduced to other miracles that had the wisdom, I applied it. I changed my life, changed my finances, changed my everything. And now I will work the rest of my life looking for people that drew the line. See, you can find a lot of people to buy the product. You can find a lot of people that will play with this industry, but I'm looking for people that drew the line. And sometimes you'll find someone that's successful because they drew a line in the past and then they keep doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result. They didn't draw the line again. So I love drawing the line at the beginning of every year. So I got new things that I'll be doing this year that I'll share with each and every one of you. And I love and appreciate you. But if you're constantly attracting people that have not drawn the line, that are not interested, that is playing with life, they're playing with this industry, then, then it's because you're playing with it. You become, you attract who you are. And if you haven't drawn a line in a long time and you're not reading this and following the instructions every night before you go to bed, if you're not doing the meditation, six phase meditation, if you haven't studied the books that your mentors tell you to do, then stop complaining. Stop crying like the dog on the nail. Oh, my old life won't help me. And Joss Wiggle keeps changing everything. And, oh. Stop being a victim. Stop being a victim. Stop being in the blame game. Just be open and honest. And go, you know what? I haven't drawn the line yet. I just refuse to draw the line. I'm complacent. I like my life. I'm going to do as little as possible to just get by. Love and appreciate each and every one of you. Please share this with people that you know that haven't drawn the line. And maybe they never will. But I believe if you draw the line and apply the things that you can, that from people that have already done it, you'll mirror and match them like I mirror and matched others. I'm here today because I learned things from people and I stand on shoulders of people that have done it, done way more than me. So I love and appreciate you. Get back uh, with the person that sent you this video and say, you know what? I'm going to draw the line. I'm going to do something this time. So. If no one's giving you permission to succeed in life and be fulfilled and happy, let me be the first. And uh, again, talk to you on the next video. Bye for now.